white sand, long beach. You think I'm on vacation somewhere at some tropical exotic island, but no, I'm actually just 20 minutes from home. There's miles and miles of beautiful sandy warm beaches here and especially at low tide at Sydney Spit in the summertime the water gets quite warm and it allows for um, a, a, a tropical feel of an environment if you will. So Parks Canada has made the trip to Sydney Spit that much more tropical with their one day family adventures. So the idea was really to allow people an, an opportunity to um, have a, a relatively inexpensive escape to the National Park, which is right in their backyard, actually. The day starts with a 20-minute ferry ride from Sydney. You'll meet Parks Canada interpreter Robin Seeley, who will give you a taste of what's on our coastline. So there's a couple different parts to the program, and one of it is everyone gets their own little net that they can take out and go exploring. So you can see there's a bunch of seaweed. This is a really good spot to look for things. They often hide under the seaweed. So there's, it's a, a tube worm, so it's the kind of worm that lives in this casing here in the sand. Robin also managed to spot a water jelly. Oh, it's very translucent. Very translucent, but funky. And she scooped up a hermit crab that just abandoned his shell. Okay. Oh! Oh no! You can find so many things on a tropical vacation. <laughs> We've got nudists on the beach. Nudist crabs. <laughs> nudist crabs on the beach. <laughs> Next, Robin's going to show me how to dig up a clam. So if you gently poke it just to see what it feels like, you'll probably it'll probably squirt a little bit. <laughs> so I'll grab onto the tube to hold onto it, and then you might even need your shovel, and then we'll just start digging around okay. here. Oh, oh, he's so fast. Okay, so now you can probably start to feel his shell. It's underneath my hands. Holy crap, this oh. is holy smoke. Wow. There you go, we caught a clam. <laughs> After admiring the butter clam, we put it back where we found it and moved on to the next activity, geocaching. It's very cool because it's not like your typical geocaching program. It's actually sort of a mini interpretive program. So there's, there's activities, there's quizzes. Okay, so our hint is, if you were a crab on the beach, you could find a safe, cool spot to hide in the sand or here under a rock, I'm guessing? <laughs> or yeah, a rock. Should we go look for a rock? Let's go look. So we're heading in the right direction. So when your GPS gets down to like five to 10 meters or feet, sorry, then you can start to look in the area. <laughs> oh, I found it. <laughs> Inside this cache will be some information about eelgrass actually. And after geocaching, why not have a tropical feast on the plethora of sea asparagus? I'm just having a meal out of this. <laughs> it's also um, an opportunity for them to learn about how to help protect some of these places that they visit. Parks Canada also has a one-day family adventure on Saturna Island that's an animal safari. You can catch the safari or the tropical vacation on Sydney Spit every Saturday this summer. From Sydney Island, I'm Jen Moranitz.